Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we're going to be looking at the cute mini octopus uploaded by McGbeer. Scroll down, we see that the designer does recommend supports, so we will be taking that into consideration. And he also included four different STL files. He included the regular STL, in which no supports are added uh, previously. He says use your own just for the mouth area. Second one is supports, in which he already added supports just for the mouth. The next one down is the spiral in which he changes the orientation for the octopus. The last one is the same thing as the spiral one, just with support added for the mouth. So simple enough, there's no other recommendations, so I think we should just be fine with supports. So click on the download all files and you should get a folder similar to this. You're gonna double click on files. And for this project, I recommend you use octopus supports because if you try to add support for this model in Cura by yourself, you may add supports in the legs where it's not needed. We only want supports in the mouth. And for a beginner, it may be a little challenging to do that. So we're gonna use octopus supports. Click and hold on that and drag it into your slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to render in. Once the model finished loading in, you should be able to see the octopus with something underneath its mouth. Now that's the support that the designer implemented into the STL, meaning this was not generated via Cura. This STL already came with that support. So as he said in the description, we do not need any other supports. And the only thing we could add if we wanted to would be the bed adhesion. Now if your printer is really bad, with bed adhesion, if prints don't stick to the bed, I would highly recommend that you add some built plate adhesion with a, I would say, a brim. Now, but before we do that, let's select a layer height. Now, I'm going to use a 0.2 millimeter layer height. If you want, you can go finer, like 0.2 or 0.16, but I think it's fine at a 0.2, so we'll click on that. We're gonna click on discard because we don't wanna keep any other previous settings that we use for other prints. And uh, like I said, if you don't have any problems with, with build plate adhesion, you can go on ahead and slice it. But if you do, you should click here under build plate adhesion, and we're gonna change skirt over to brim. Now that's only if, like I said, if you need build plate adhesion, I don't, so I'm gonna leave it as skirt. And once you set that to whatever your uh, preference is, click on slice, and we'll give it a few seconds to render. Shouldn't take too long. And once it's finished, we should be greeted by a time estimate, which is 3 hours and 43 minutes, and an estimated usage of 20 grams of filament. Now, always preview the print. Click on Preview. And just rotate around, see if anything is weird or funky. And nothing seems strange to me. Now, if you did add a brim, then you're going to see some lines around the model. And that's perfectly okay. But uh, as of now, everything is good. So all I have to do is save to the flash drive and send that print over to the printer. Here's the octopus straight off the print bed. The only thing you have to do now is pull off the support from the mouth and you're set to go. This is how the model should look like once you break off the supports from the mouth. As you can see, there are no visual defects and the quality is pretty high. As you can see, the model is fully articulated, so you can move all the tentacles as you please. The only thing left to do is to paint the model and play your heart out with your new little cute mini octopus.